Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Amid the controversies in the South East, especially the one week long um, sit at home proposed by Simon Ekba over the refusal to release Mazin Namdi Kanu, he had also sent a very strong message to the British High Commission over the statement he made to the governor of. Uh, Enugu State. We are going to be looking at that in a GFE. Meanwhile, the Ohanes and Debo has finally met with the British envoy in respect to the case of Ike Kwere Madru still languishing in the jail of the British. We will also give you full details of that in a GFE. But first of all, let's see the strong message that uh, Ekba sent out to the British High Commission Montgomery. That according to the new Simon by popular Biafra agitator and separatist, he has cautioned the British High Commission, Commissioner to Nigeria, Dr. Richard Montgomery, against falling conflict in the Southeast. Ekma, the Finland based lawyer and Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile, disclosed on Wednesday through his official social media handle. Montgomery, through his official um, social media handle, had uh, written on Wednesday, and this way his word said it was an honor and pleasure to meet Governor Peter Mba in Enugu, especially to discuss better collaboration on attracting investment and boosting trade and creating more economic opportunities. Lots of ideas to follow up. However, Ekba to Montgomery, he could not discuss investment in a conflict zone. According to him, some of the activities of the British High Commission may be fueling conflicts in the southeast region. He cautioned Montgomery against disrupting the call for a Biafra referendum. He added that supporting the self referendum of Biafra is supporting lasting peace. In the region. According to his word, and I quote, he said, You are talking about investment in a conflict zone. Are you aware that Brit the Biafrans are fighting for an independent state? Your activities with the government will definitely fuel the crisis. Some of you are benefiting from the conflict. You come to Africa to fuel crisis while you enjoy democracy. In the UK, are you not aware that Enugu State is Biafra and people are sitting at home demanding the release of the UK citizen Mazinam de Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra who is illegally being detained by Nigeria State? Did they kidnap him? Did they kidnap him from Kenya? In your country, UK, do you listen to your citizens or do the citizens listen to you? He went further to say that through this medium, we, the Biafran people, caution you to desist from foiling conflict in the Southeast. There is no way you you can have an investment in Biafra territory with the current conflict. A past reaction comes against Montgomery meeting with the governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba. Meanwhile, in a related development, the Hanes and Debo have finally met with uh, the British envoy over Ekwere Madu's case. And according to the news, Apex Ibo Social Cultural Organization, Hanes and Debo on Tuesday appealed to the British government for leniency for the convicted former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwere Madu. The Igbo group made this known when the leadership of Anes and Igbo received the British High Commission to Nigeria, Dr. Richard Montgomery, at the National Secretariat of Anes and Igbo in Enugu State. Anes and Igbo affirmed that it accepted the pronouncement of the trial court that approved nine years and eight month jail term for Aquarium Madu in the matter of organ harvesting. The UK court on May feed also sentences wife Beatrice and the doctor Obina Obeta to four years, six months, and ten years in prison, respectively. One of the leaders of the group, 
Archbishop Emmanuel Chukuma said that Ndibos would be happy should a Kerenkwerenbaro jail term be reduced. Chukuma said there is a way or there is a very important issue that we have to bring to your attention. You are aware of the case of Nigeria former Deputy Senate President Ike Kwerenbaro who was convicted and is in jail in your country. He is from this state and we will know the circumstance he got entangled in that unfortunately incident be uh, and sorry i'll get take that again he said he's from this state and we all know the circumstances he got entangled in that unfortunate incident because he wanted to save his daughter's life he is already serving a jail term. It's unfortunate, but it has happened. I testified for him during the trial, and in fact, the judge mentioned my name two times while delivering his judgment. But we are using the opportunity of your visit to ask for leniency for him so that he doesn't spend a number of years in jail. We have accepted the judgment, but are saying if there's anything that could be done to reduce the jail time. He's from this state, and if we don't bring these things up as Ohaneze, or from us here concerning this important son of Ibolan, it wouldn't be nice of us. We are quite overwhelmed with your visit. Those were the words from Ohaneze and Nibo. Wow, quite interesting. I mean, Dr. Montgomery, uh, I guess that was the first time of uh, visiting the Southeast and uh, Simon Iqbal is hitting him really hard. I, I think that um, right now, the situation on ground, especially about the release of Mazinam Dikano, lies in the hands of one man, which is uh, the current president, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And um, considering the situation of things, I, I, I think the reason why he's turning a blind eye to it is the fact that politically things were not done in the South is in his favor. Possibly, if there was no emergence of Peter B and South East had given him at least half of the support they gave to Peter B, who knows, he would have considered the release of Masinam Dikano. But I, I still feel that it's not late, you know, for Hannes and Debo to go in and meet with him. There have been a lot of outcries from different people. As at yesterday, we saw what uh, uh, your the son of Pete Doche wrote um, asking for leniency for um, Namdi Kanu from Bola Ahmed. He said he should listen to the cry of one of his sons, uh, which is himself, and that uh, Namdi Kanu should be considered. And I, I just feel that um, this issue should be done and dusted right now because, um, from all indication, it's going to pin for a while or would pain for a long time if nothing is done about it. At least, I, I think the ideal thing there is um, the fact that in everyone's very full, uh, Mazina Mikano was given um, a discharge, kind of, it was certified discharge, but quitted and discharged, but unfortunately, they keep holding him back. And that alone has doubled the trouble. Right now, the, the South is, is not enjoying the level of peace that it should be enjoying. And I, I, and I feel that even Richard uh, Montgomery can use the opportunity to reach out to the president, at least to talk about this whole issue. Because um, apart from anything, um, the South Eastern um, uh, Namdi Kano is actually not just from Nigeria, but also from UK. Being a citizen of the UK, there should be some show of interest in quelling the crisis that is currently staring at the face of his followers. However, the, gay, the issue of Ike Kwerenmaru also is of huge concern because I, I believe that uh, uh, keeping him in prison in far away United States of America is to put an end to his life and also to seal his political destiny. And um, if not for anything, they should consider the fact that uh, this man was pushing for the survival of his daughter. And uh, based on what we know, uh, the young man had agreed before he was taken out of the shore of Nigeria. 
I hope Evo and Ndibo keep on pressing forward. Something good can come up from there. That's what.